This guy was taught by Arnold himself. Tell everyone the experience of Arnold oh. Schwarzenegger teaching you how to pose. Wow, this is fantastic. Good. And then and then he comes up to me and he takes my elbows because I was kind of like this and he, he, he popped me up like that. And he... So for bodybuilding tips, uh, train correctly, train correctly for your bone and the range of motion that you have. Like Any it. tips on sticking to a diet? Wow. Uh, These are little things that you can do to... Okay. This is this is a great one. It's not bad. Thing for you really relative to an incline bench. So automatically, an incline bench can make you stronger than a flat bench. Uh, it will save your shoulders for a longer period of time, and it gives you a better looking chest. And most of us that are on here are men. And again, I've talked about this, that I've never met a man with an overdeveloped upper chest where 99% of you have an overdeveloped lower chest. So it's one of those big things is that there's going to be a variation of why you're picking the workout. Why are you putting the workout together? Is it because this guy at the gym gave it to you? Where's your analyzation of, of this? Woo, are we just making words up today? That's a word. Anal and really? That's a real word. That's a real word. Okay, so the reason why I love what I do is that I get to put together a workout plan and program designed for what you want for your body. So that's why I have people come to me and I see their bodies and I go, first of all, you're not going to squat no more. Well, why is that? I love squats. I love squats. Because your quads are overdeveloped and you have no hamstrings. And unless we completely change your squat form and everything and develop a, the, the, the hamstrings to grow, I don't want you squatting. So, and that goes with the bench press. I take most, almost everybody off of bench press. First off, the majority of injuries. And also nobody bench presses anymore. Well, wait a minute. No, no, I just bench press. No, you didn't. You did declines. You arch that chest up so high and get the, the, the back and the feet underneath you that you're basically just doing a freaking decline bench. Is that all the water it's supposed to be in? 48 ounces. How's that 48 ounces? Four, Four to eight. <laughs> Four to eight ounces. Can you guys hear me? I don't know if you're drinking more water. What's that? He's about poop. Just water, 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 water in case you're... Bring it on. How is that? That there is all I'm supposed to do? So for bodybuilding tips, uh, train correctly, train correctly for your bone and the range of motion that you have. Mm -hmm. um, but and yeah. don't tell shorter bodybuilders if your arms weren't so short, you couldn't bench that much. That's right. Uh, oh, don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> If you weren't so short, you couldn't squat. They're like, yeah. what are you thinking, dude? Come, Come on. Why man. can't you even unrack 405? Yeah. <laughs> <No>? <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? Uh, Let's see. You see something, Clark? If you see something, say Clark's something. Clark's got those laser eyes. Right? Batman. Thoughts on doing? SARMs and other PEDs? No. I have none. I don't know anything no. about it. Abs. No. How to make abs pop when it's 3% body fat? You're not 3% body no. fat. Yeah, you're yeah. 3% yeah. yeah. body fat, your abs don't yeah. pop. That's not we got a problem, it. Boyer Coat. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Any tips on sticking to a diet? Wow. Wow. Yeah, it's called self uh, it's, uh, discipline. Discipline. So It's an easy one. Here's a nice one. This is what I like about you and Stan. Right now. Yeah, this one's <laughs> you're gonna hurt feelings. Yeah. Stan was on stage with me. We we're giving a lecture, and I really govern what I say because I am Irish and I I can get harsh. Yeah. So what I love is I love being around Clark and listen to what he says to his people because it makes me feel good that maybe sometimes <laughs> when I do snap and Jeffrey loves it because it always comes back to that the the. the the Titan crew or uh, like Clark's crew comes back and goes, yeah, we needed that. I'm yeah. glad you I'm glad you laid into it. And so sometimes I just don't like being that disciplined kind of father. I want you to find it within yourself. Um, but the question here, any tips on sticking with the diet? I've given some tips, some tricks. My green drinks, they're great. Mm -hmm. They're basically, it's kind of like free calories. Yeah, you just a whole bunch of greens, the broccoli, the spinach, and all it's that kind of stuff. Nutrients without you, nutrients, and and you put it in a drink, blend it, and drink it. It makes you content. 
Yeah. Um, any I other noticed you chewing the hell out of some gum yesterday. Oh my gosh. Like that, yeah. I saw Mike on a video yesterday and he was chewing gum, boy, and I'm like, he's doing that for a very specific reason, and there's a reason he's got 22 <laughs> packs of gum downstairs, all different flavors, varieties, you know. Mo knows to get them. Yeah, because these are little things that you can do to, okay. this is this is a great one. It's not bad. Water, you know, fill yourself Water. up. Don't have something near you that you really love and enjoy because if it's near you and you're craving it, you're going to go get it. You're going to break your diet and go get it. And they say, oh, start again on Monday. Yeah. You know? It's, it's always the Monday. Mm -hmm. It's always the Monday. Now, outside of drinking your water to keep you content, making sure you're taking your vitamins, make sure that you're um, getting your vegetables in to keep you... Remember, vegetables kind of bloat you. Um, you know, the asparagus and the broccoli is going to bloat you a bit and kind of make you content even more so. Um it don't make you drop water. Yeah, salads will bloat you, know, all those fibrous vegetables. So that being said, outside of that, what do you got, Clark? What's the trick? And why can't anybody, why cannot everybody just be in shape? Because that's kind of like the answer you're going to give here, isn't it? Yeah, well. What if I have an eating disorder? Well, let's, let's answer this because that's an actual big thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it has nothing to do with staying with a diet. Well, you can't stay on a diet. Because that's like, it's uh, easy if you have an eating disorder. If you didn't, you know? he does that sometimes. Yeah, he does. You do, that that's kind of going down a path of like there's disorders and there's actual disorders. Mm -hmm. Some people might think a disorder is actual just plain old weakness. That's why with my five lifestyle principles, it starts with mindset. Right, you have to get your, that's what they call it, mindset. Like if I'm gonna go do the 30 day blitz, I've set my mind to go, okay, for the next 30 days I'm gonna do this, and then I commit to it, to my community, and then I'm off to the races and I stick with it. And having done it so many times, you develop the discipline over time to do it. So don't beat yourself up the first time if you mess up, right? You're a human, we all do. We've all, I mean, very few people will set to something and not Never quit you know but the final tip here is is we'll just be straightforward with you uh, it's self discipline yeah and that's it and that's why not everybody can be bodybuilders and that's what uh, there's a big reason that's why most people that did bodybuilding in their 20s don't look the same because they can't maintain it for a lifetime so that's what I love about Clark is he's another individual, um, metahuman, that's been able to uh, create the lifestyle where he can consistently be the way he is. So I need to suck up all the knowledge he has because he has a discipline, but a lifestyle that he's been able to do for his entire life. And that's who I wish you guys would go to coaches more like that and give those coaches a try relative to the named coaches that look terrible because um, they couldn't even maintain what they're telling you to do. Now, th there is 100% difference when, when you're saying, hey, I want to be the greatest in the world. Well, that's a short window. So I understand if that coach is consistently not the most appealing thing in the world. Um, but if you understand the two concepts there? Yeah, I had a guy come on one of my lives the other day on one of my Zooms, and he knew me right when I got out of the Marine Corps. I actually worked for him at Family Fitness Center back in the day. And I said, Clay, it's so great to have you on here. And he said, you know what I love seeing Clark right now? Because I remember this guy in 1983 bringing Tupperware everywhere he went. And he said, I'm going to tell you the truth, we made fun of him. Because everywhere he went, he took Tupperware with him and he had his food in that Tupperware. This is going back to 1983. And I've been doing a very similar thing ever since. That when I would show up to family events, I would come with Tupperware. And, and recently, now that I've kind of given myself a little bit of freedom, people are shocked. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> shocked if they see me eating something out of the food for the rest of the people. Yeah, they're, they're it's blown so away. weird to see. Oh, they, they freak out. You know, because there's so Bell has that same story of me. He goes, I remember the first time we went to a UFC fight over at a friend's house. They're all drinking beer and enjoying and eating chips and all that and the food that was there. And then there's Mike on the couch and he pulls out the Tupperware. Yeah. Early 90s, 93. 
So, um, we've been doing this for a while. Is Amino better than BCAAs? No. That's the They're both good. Life. How can you lower your LDL if it's high? Eat right. This guy was taught by Arnold himself. Tell everyone the experience of Arnold oh. Schwarzenegger teaching you how to pose. You guys need to hear this story right here. I'll oh. stay for this. Was, yes. He actually gave me this shirt right here. Oh, let's do this. Hold on, hold on, cool hold on, that? hold on. Sit down. So this guy, guys, come over here, come over here, sit down. And tell them the day that Arnold Schwarzenegger taught you how to pose. The first day or the other oh, day? Shit. Okay, excuse me. Probably the coolest shit, right, that ever happened. I think it was the first time. It was for like one of my first days working at Gold's. In Venice. In Venice, yeah, right? Gold's Venice. And I was asking one of the guys, I was like, yo, so uh, when Arnold comes, right? And he's like, yeah, man, you'll probably see him today. Not even five minutes later, he came through the door. And I was like, oh, shit. Don't even know why I did it. But the first thing I did, I was just like, oh, I was just so excited. The five-second rule. You did the five-second rule. Did you I? Did. Yeah, you yes. did. Yes, you didn't no, think about it. Didn't no, even know. Didn't even think. Just something happened. I was just like, oh. <laughs> that, that, yeah. that one thing uh -huh. changed every time you ever visited him every after single, that. Every single time. And every, he, you know, he's walking his bike. That's what he does. He walks in uh, with his bike, and he looks up at me, and it was like a switch went off in his head. He was like, wow, this is fantastic, good. And then, and then he comes up to me, and he takes my elbows, because I was kind of like this, and he... he he popped me up like that, and he's like, "Good, good." And then I just kind of went into another one. He's, you know, he's telling me what to do. He's like, "Get your," he's like, "Bring your biceps up, get them higher, get them higher." And after that, every single time he came into the gym, he'd walk in and he so he he would say, "Hit the shot." And so I boom, I'd hit that, I'd hit that, and then every day he he'd go, "Okay, good." Now after that, do that, and then the fourth day after this, after that, he'd say, "Do this," and we. We built up a, like a 10 piece routine over the 10 times, and it, that was the shit. Wow, yeah. dude. Yeah. Forever. 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 That's the story. That's my Arnold story.